Martian. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball. Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful day to play on the swing. Wow, Phoebe knows how to swing by herself. Groovy, why don't you try? It looks like fun. Come on. Ah, really good. Wait, what's that? It's a mole. Where is he going? To his house? Let's learn about animal homes. Does the mole live inside a bush? Haha, <laughs> no, it was just a snail. 
They live inside their shells, so they're carrying their own house around. And look over there, a spider. They make spider webs to live in and also to catch their prey. Let's continue our way to the mole's house. Look kids, a frog. Frogs live in ponds. So fun. Kids, look at that. The dirt road ends in that hole. That must be his house. Groovy, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Moles dig burrows that are connected by tunnels. That's why they can appear anywhere in your garden. Wow, it's huge. Pops, where are you going? Look what he's found. A baby bird is about to be born. Oh no, it's going to fall. Thank God you caught it. How is it? Hi, little bird. Oh, it can't fly yet. It's just a baby. We have to help him go home. Do you know where it lives? Birds live inside a nest. They build their nest over the trees. But its nest is too high. How can we get over them? What should Groovy transform into to help that little bird? A hula hoop? A camera? Or a fire truck? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a fire truck. Really good, Groovy. It's almost there. Welcome home, little bird. Hey kids, do you want to play a game? Where do animals live? Look, these are the animals we've found. A mole, a snail, a spider, a frog, and a bird. Do you know where they all live? Where does the mole live? In a burrow, a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? Really good. Moles live inside burrows. Where does the bird live? In a shell? A spider web? A pond? Or a nest? That's it. Birds live in a nest over the trees. And the snail? Where does it live? In a shell? A spider web? Or a pond? Right, snails live inside their shells. What about the frog? Where does it live? In a spider web or a pond? That's right, frogs live in ponds. There's only one animal left, the spider. And sure, spiders live in spider webs. Let's go through them all again. Moles live inside burrows. Birds live in nests over the trees. Snails live inside their shells. Frogs live in ponds. And spiders live in spider webs. Really good! The itsy bitsy spider knocked up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy Bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed down to Phoebe's bed. She screams and she yells, but it was just her little friend. Sorry, little spider, I know that I was wrong. He jumps back to her head and they play. 
It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, that little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. I can't believe it. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish. Haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? <coughs> they do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a, a treasure. Whoa! <coughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. Haha, <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark! Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family.
Wow, a clownfish! Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle, haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm. They seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster. Good job, kids. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learned today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. That's the way I like it, kids, to wash your teeth after every meal. With a little bit of toothpaste is enough. Be careful, Pops. You are going to create a magic portal. Groovy? Oh, a baby dinosaur. Hello, baby. Don't cry. Groovy, please transform yourself into something. Something that babies like. I do not know. A pacifier. Groovy? Look at your steak, Groovy. You're full of dinosaur slime. What do you say, Pops? Yes, okay. Children, Pops is right. Our little friend has sneaked into the present through a magic portal. We have to travel back in time to find their parents. Is that all right, little dino? Pops, please open the magic portal. Ready for a time-traveling adventure? arrived. Welcome to the Jurassic. It turns out that before humans, the Earth was inhabited by these huge dinosaurs. What do you think? <coughs> Groovy, we need a vehicle
able to escape. No, Groovy, no. Something that goes faster. Run! They are T-Rex, the most dangerous dinosaurs. Good. We've given him the slip. We'd better find the parents of our little friend. This Jurassic is dangerous for a human. Two Martians and a voiceover. And now what? Oh no, another dinosaur is coming. Luckily, he has come to help us. It's a harmless Triceratops. Oh, it's your mom. What a happy coincidence. Well, kids, problem solved. He can come back to present. This must be his dad. Oh, poor, he has a Flemigan. Of course, as at this time, they did not wash their teeth. It is normal that it hurts. Groovy, could you help him? <laughs> circles, circles, up and down, three times a day, and smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Kids, not so fast. What are you forgetting? Right, you have to brush your teeth. Remember, to the dentist you won't go if you wash your teeth more. Phoebe loves her new dinosaur book. Groovy, do you know what dinosaurs are? Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Some of them were herbivores, and others were carnivores. But all of them were born from an egg. Would you be able to guess what dinosaur the egg is from? Pops, do you want to play the guess which dinosaur is this egg from? Hmm, Pops, what are you up to? Pops has opened a portal. Where does it go? Pops, have you brought us to the era of dinosaurs? We are at the Jurassic. Wait, kids. This can be very dangerous. Phew. At least we have Groovy who can transform if we need it. This Brontosaurus seems very nice, though. Those T-Rex, not that much. Kids, look. What's that? It's a dinosaur egg, like the one of the book. And it's in danger. Groovy, you have to do something. Kids, we must save the egg. Groovy, you can. It's there. Oh, oh, run. Kids, how do you think they can do it? Pops, I have an idea. A pterodactyl, that's right. Now you can save it and take it back to its nest. Well done, kids. They're like the ones in your book, Phoebe. Do you want to keep playing? Well, what kind of dinosaur will they be? Brontosaurus? No, Phoebe, they can't be Brontosaurus egg. Brontosaurus are huge to live on top of this little hill. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, Groovy, they can't be from a T-Rex. T-Rex can't fly, and it would be too difficult for them to feed the babies. 
<laughs> That's it, Pops. It must be a dinosaur that can fly. Do you already know what dinosaur it is? Exactly. Pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, and they think that you are their mom. Oh, that's their real mom. She's very grateful. Good job, kids. Oh, wow. What a long day, kids. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of famous characters. Nemo, Hulk, Pikachu, Ladybug, Peppa Pig, and Shark, like Baby Shark. These characters are so cool. Do you know what color they are? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Red. Which of these animals are red? Haha, <laughs> exactly. Ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. Nemo is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which character is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Peppa Pig isn't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Pikachu is yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. 
but who is also green? Yes, Hulk's green. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is Peppa Pig? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, Bataya and Kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana. Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Aha, uh -huh, blue. What a team! There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like Ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful Nemo or the delicious Tangerine. Yellow, like Pikachu or the bananas. Green, like the Hulk, or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like Peppa Pig or the Pattaya. Haha, <laughs> and like Pops. Learning is so fun. trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids! Groovy the Martian, official channel.